Here are some highlights of what's new in Transmagic 10.1. The new dynamic selection feature allows you to easily select edges, faces, parts, or entire assemblies. Once selected, parts and assemblies can be opened in new documents with a single click. If you prefer keyboard navigation, our assembly browser now allows you to use your arrow keys to navigate the assembly to find the part you're looking for quickly. Advanced faceting options are now available for all polygonal formats, so whether your model is being used for 3D animation, 3D printing, or game development, you can get the resolution you want. There are some exciting new formats in Transmagic 10.1, including DXF and CATIA V6. SM Live is another new format. If you're not already familiar with SM Live, it's a modeling kernel like Asus and Parasolid used in many CAD solutions, such as Esprit. If you use our batch interface, you'll have access to all these new formats and settings when you're processing multiple files at once. We all want our work to go faster. Well, now Transmagic supports multi-core processing to process large assemblies by using every available processor. Here we're engaging eight processors to open this large assembly. We originally targeted massive PMI improvements for release 11, but development has gone so well that we've included many of those enhancements in this point release, making your GDNT dimensions and notes easier to read and use. You can always learn more about the latest Transmagic release by going to transmagic.com products. Transmagic, the models you want and the formats you need.